All right, boys and girls, this is a momentous occasion. As you can see, we are at Tithe Farm uh, because we are about to get our first 99 in old school RuneScape and on the Hardcore Iron Man. I reiterated this previously, but not only is this my first 99 ever in old school RuneScape, but it's my first 99 on an Iron Man, and for that fact, of the matter, a hardcore Iron Man. So this is poggers. Now, the fact of it being 90 uh, uh, farming is kind of crazy, but it is kind of like my favorite skill almost. I just love, it's just so passive and relaxing, you know? It's not like a grind necessarily. You just log on and boom, you get your trees. So it is a kind of, not necessarily common 99 to have, but it's pretty, you know, especially for Iron Man because it just kind of happens eventually. This took me pretty much all summer, uh, I guess ever since quarantine happened, essentially, but I've prolonged it long enough. It's funny. I went and did, like, a farming run. I did all these trees, got my hardwood trees, and look how much XP I had left. 5,000. I have nothing left. Nothing. So I came to Tithe Farm because I was like, I gotta get this XP now. So, without further ado, let's deposit these fruits and get my le- You what?! What the f- Okay, now that I've done one more final, uh, freaking run of this. I hate Tithe Farming, by the way. It's not hard. It's just the most boring, click-intensive minigame out there. I know I say that about every minigame, but you know what, dude? Shut up. Anyway, give me the freaking level. I beg of you. And there's nobody here to witness it, because I have no friends! Level 99 farming. Let's go. You are now a master of farming. Why not visit Martin, the master gardener in Draenor Village? All right. Oh, and, and we can now uh, plant unlimited spirit trees and get quadruple magic roots. I think this is one of the few skills that actually you unlock something at 99, isn't it? Like most skills you stop unlocking stuff way before that. So that's kind of interesting actually, but there we go. The first 99. Um, I will check real quick. Hold on. I'll show you guys. It's not going to tell me my rank. You'll, I, I'm too lazy to look it up, so you'll have to just take my word for it. But last time I looked it up, we're like rank like 600 for Hespori kills. And um, for a hardcore Ironman, obviously. I got no points for that, by the way. Why did I get no points for that? Is it because I did it all like at different times? Wow! See, that's, I kind of messed up there. I didn't get any of the farmer's outfit. I didn't get any of this stuff. Now, the only really important thing is like the herb sack. But you can also get that from Slayer. But uh, if I do this real quick, hold on. Now remember, this is for Hardcore Iron Man. And most people stop at 99. So currently, oh, it hasn't updated. Well, even at the 13 million experience, we're rank 900. So we are top 1,000 for farming. Now, granted, like I said, most people stop after they hit 99. So, um... You know, that's pretty interesting. I'm going to keep doing runs because obviously I'll still need herbs. I'll still need some other tree seeds and stuff. So we'll probably get pretty high up there, you know, assuming we don't die. So this is, uh, I've never actually bought a skill cape before. I think we can talk to, oh, he does have the, wait, this guy right here, Martin the Master Gardener. I didn't know this was the guy you talked to. Uh, ask about the skill cape of farming. Yes, yes, yes. And of course, fellow farmer, if you this cape, you'll, be, you'll receive increased yields from your herbs? I didn't know that. 99K. I'm not paying that. Sure, not... M not many people own one. Ooh. What? Where's my money? Oh, gosh dang it. Hold on. Okay, let's try this one more time. Oh. <laughs> oh. It played like a... Dude, it played like a sick little tune. I never heard that before. Like a quest complete. Dude, it looks so good. It's also one of my favorite capes. And I'm not just saying that because I have it. it it's legitimately just one of my favorite skill capes. It just the green looks so good. Now, I know a lot of people don't wear the hood. Oh, dude. <laughs> Let's freaking go. We look so awesome. What is the... I forget what the emote actually is. Hold on. Let me see here. Uh, you go here, and then you go here. Wait. Uh, why can't I do it? Oh, there it is right there. Skill cape. What is the... Oh, we plant, like, some trees, and then... Oh, we grow flowers. Oh, that's adorable. It's actually kind of lame. <laughs> there we freaking go. Oh, man. My first 99. The first 99 of many. Boys and girls, thank you for being here with me on this journey. Welcome to the Hardcore Armin episode. That was a long intro, but we got 99 farming. We've done it. So uh, what's going to be my next 99? Take your bets. Probably fire making because it's pretty close and it's pretty fast and it's pretty easy. 
Also, I like to eat. Dude, no way! I was killing blue dragons for uh, bones for prayer XP, and I got a dragon spear. So I'm wearing my ring of wealth, enchanted obviously, but that only helps with the clue scrolls. But that's still like super rare. Dude, that's, oh, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, I was wondering if I was ever going to, or when I was ever going to get this. Because don't you need it for a couple clue scrolls? And I also think it's, uh, is that how you make the, you can do something else with this. Not the hosta, but I, I forget, I'll have to look it up. But that's the first time I've ever got that. That's so crazy. Is that actually like any good? Or is it just like a rare drop table thing? Oh, dude, I, I cannot recommend. I always used to laugh at the Ring of Wealth, but this thing has helped me get so, it helped me get the shield left half. It's done so much for me. Oh, that's so crazy. I saw that pop up. It's not even worth that much. It's worth like, what, like 30 some K? 37 K. But still, <laughs> Dragon Spear. I was hoping you can't get a visage from Blue Dragons, of course, but still. Sorry if I sound a little different, though, by the way, because it's very late at night, so I'm trying to be quiet. Uh, and I'm at a weird angle because I'm standing up, but <laughs> let's go. Freaking Dragon Spear, first one of the account. Oh, I'm so happy. All right. Oh, <laughs> let's go. All right, here in just a couple of seconds, as soon as we win, hey, there it is. 95 fire making, so a little bit of a milestone. It's a nice looking number for sure. Um, I don't really necessarily need to be here, but I was just kind of in the mood to do a little bit of winter tot, just kind of relax and uh, AFK it a little bit. And I wanted to, like I said, round that up a little bit because I hate looking at 94s or, you know, if it's so close to like an, a nice even number. You know, I think a lot of RuneScapers are, are, are similar to that. So I'm at kill count 391 uh, of good old winter tot. I'm trying to save up. I'm trying to be a good boy. And try to save up some crates. I've got a few stacked here. I'm not going to open them just yet. Because I'm going to keep playing for a little bit. But I just wanted to cue you in on the milestone. Show you guys that I'm making some progress. Don't know how many more I'm going to do. Like I said, it just kind of sounded fun. Wanted to get... Because I knew I was close to 95 fire making. So that looks pretty nice. And uh, so yeah, I'm just out here kind of chilling. And uh, hanging out with my <laughs> with my farming cape. Oh, flexing on these fools, boys. Flexing. What's that? It's not that big of a, uh, of a, of a deal? Yeah, well, what do you know? Sorry if the recording's lagging a little bit. I'm currently editing this video, but there's a dragon impling right here. So bada boom, K 
capture that bad boy. That was a first try. Uh, that was a lot easier. I don't really need anything per se, because I've already got my glories, but I think you can get dragon bones, which is always nice uh, for prayer XP, because I'm trying to grind out that 70 prayer anyway. Um, as long as I get anything, I mean, you can get pretty good stuff from these bad boys. So let's, uh, I think this is dragon impling number four, maybe number five. I don't actually quite remember right off the bat, but here we go. Hey! That's pretty good. <laughs> that's exactly what we need. That's some hot, nasty prayer XP. So that's beautiful boys and girls. Dragon Impling number five? I was just teleporting here because I was going to go buy some cosmics because I'm too lazy to runecraft them because I needed to make some battle staves to alk for money. And, uh, you know, the world just has a way of throwing Dragon Implings in your stupid little face. So, hell yeah. Alright, so I decided to do a little bit of Barrows just for the heck of it, and I got my magic level. It's uh, going to be gone in an instant, but there is 75 magic, and the last requirement, I believe, that we needed for Dragon Slayer 2. If I check here real quick, boom. Yes, all the quests come... Uh, yep, so we can now do that quest, but the real question is, am I going to? Now, the quest itself is dope, but man, Galvik scares me so much because he can kill you even just with the slightest mess up and hardcore iron man over so i don't know i'm very i kind of want to just like get stronger i know obviously it's not going to matter but if my magic is higher if my range is higher i will kill him faster and there be less opportunity for him to murder me now that doesn't mean i won't start it and get maybe up to the fight you know i still have to do vorkath and vorkath once you learn him he's not that bad and especially since the quest version of him is easier than like the real boss i could also start sins of the father which i might do in this episode i may not finish it this episode but i can also do that quest so i'm planning on maybe doing that so now the only requirement we need for quests is 70 construction that's it. And then we can complete every single quest. So that's awesome. So I'll get that eventually. I don't know when. I don't know how. But I'll get it. Uh, I'm going to keep doing some Barrows though because I want some armor. The only Guthix, or the only Guthix, the only Barrows piece I have is the Guthin's plate body. Now I haven't done that many chests. I actually don't even know. Hold on. I don't even remember how many I've done at this point in time. Let's see real quick. It's not many. 16. So 16 chests and I've gotten a Guthin's plate body. That's not bad. Uh, so I'm going to keep going and we'll see if we get anything dope. And if not, well, GG, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's keep going. Sorry for wasting your time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alrighty, here comes Barrow's chest number 17, baby. Uh, you know, okay, lots of death runes and some blood runes. The chest is almost worth 100k. Wow, that's uh, that's crazy. Okay, uh, I'm not mad at that. Let's uh, run the next one. How do I get out of here? I actually didn't bring a teleport out of here. Uh, I guess I'll use my explorer's ring. I don't. I'm not. I'm not used to not having my Ardune cape. You know, I'm used to uh, having that on all the time. But anyway, there's a uh, Barrowshire 17. On to the next. Okay, and here comes Barrow's chest number 18. Ugh. Come on, dude. That's freaking gross. Oh, that's gross. 1K. What am I gonna do with that? Shove it up my. All right, we are coming up on Barrow's Chest number 19, I believe. Oh, my gosh. That's just, you hate to see it. <laughs> All right, I'm probably going to do one more so I can round it out at an even 20. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a piece. I think I got that Guthin's Plate Body on, like, chest number four. So I'm having a bit of a dry streak, but I know I got that piece pretty early. So I can't complain too much, but uh, I'll do one more for this episode. Hopefully we can round it out on something actually that's not hot literal garbage. Fingers are crossed, but what's it? It's not gonna matter because the friggin' Jagex hates bald people. You heard it here first, folks. All right, here we go. Barrow's chest number twenty. Don't do me dirty, please. No. What did I just say, bro? All right, I'm calling it there before I get freaking frustrated. I would do more, but. I hate doing Barrow's runs without having the Mauritania Hard Diaries completed so I get more runes, you know. And uh, I'm close to 70 prayer. That's the only thing really uh, holding me back from getting that diary set complete. So until then, I'll hold off on the Barrow's chest. But man, that's a lot of dry chests. That's a lot of dryness. I'm not a fan of that. I like the wetness. Where is this going? I don't know. I'm going to end my Barrow's streak there for now. Um... 
gonna do something else now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, don't know what. Man, I was really hoping I'd get an item, but uh, screw me, right? So something I've been meaning to do for a while now, but I keep putting off, is actually building a spice rack in my house. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what that does, you have to have 60 construction. Wow, so I've just literally unlocked the ability to be able to do it not too long ago. It will allow you to store essentially an infinite amount. Bruh. I grabbed two saws. Ah, son of a... Okay, let's try that again. What it does is essentially allows you to store an infinite amount of spice in your house, so you no longer have to, you know, take up bake space, which is beautiful for me, because I have a lot of spice, and you know, especially if you use it for boosting a lot, for, you know, achievement diaries or anything really, you can essentially just... Your spice has been stored. And I think whenever you, were, like, whenever you take it back, it'll put it in the most amount of, like... Contain and I just saw that I accidentally paused the recording. This clip is ruined, dude. I don't know what you've seen or heard. I'm so sorry. Basically, I built the spice rack. It holds basically an infinite amount of spices. That's beautiful for me for me in my bank space. Ugh, that was a mess. Goodness gracious, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened there, but it, it, you know what it is, is I'm tired. <laughs> but I think I'm going to end the episode here, boys and girls. I know I said I was going to maybe start one of the quests we have left, but I think I'm going to save that for next episode because this episode is long overdue. We got a lot done. 99 farming, that's huge. Um, couple fire making levels, we're close to 99 fire making now. We got a lot of main goals accomplished. Uh, uh, next up is the quest cape, really. That's one of my next goals I want to get done. And I want to start getting some uh, Barrows pieces to make perhaps like maybe Dragon Slayer 2 or Song of the Elves easier. Like Arams, Carols, you know, the good stuff uh, at least. So I'm going to go deposit all of these uh, spices in my bank. I've got a couple here, not many. Not many, but enough, like that's three bank spaces I could free up. So, beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support as of late. I know this episode came out, it's been a while since the last hardcore episode and I apologize for that, but uh, life's kind of been crazy in the middle of buying like a house right now, doing some family stuff, some real life stuff. So I've been a little over the place, but content has not stopped, at least to the best of my abilities. I will continue to pump it out. Thank you guys for all the support, the subscriptions. We're almost to 200. I said in a previous episode that at 200 subscribers, I think I have another goal or milestone in, uh, in mind. Uh, the first milestone at 100 subscribers was to complete as many of the wilderness achievement diaries as I could and as you see down here we have 23 out of 40 so I think once we hit 200 subscribers I will finish the easy and medium diaries because I can finish them whenever I want they're just they're very scary I have th two left in the easy casting low alchemy at the fountain of rune praying at the chaos altar in the western wilderness and restoring some prayer points at the demonic ruins okay I have three left in the easy and I have two left in the medium kill a blood veil and open the muddy chest both pretty easy uh, it's just, you know, there you have to be out in the deep wilderness for a long time. Now, just a side note, if I do reach that milestone and I do have to do that, I will probably use my main account again to help me in the uh, wilderness safely or maybe Necro Circus. I don't know, but sue me, dude. Sue me. Make your own hardcore Iron Man. You do the achievement diaries by yourself. Please, put it in the comments. I'd love to see it. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, stay beautiful, stay safe, and stay shredded. Bye!